think it is quite late for some people on the um, Eastern um, time zone. And um, I uh, was sitting up and um, I had someone that called that was going through a crisis. And I thought about, you know, the people and praying and that kind of thing. But anyway, I said, let me go ahead and make a video or recording so that I could remind those um, individuals that still want to get in on the Mercury Retrograde class, which is Thursday. Um, it starts at five o'clock. It's going to be about 30 minutes. And um, you can go to Cash App and put in dollar sign IFW Builders to pay for it. It'll be $35. And those that get in on that class now will um, get a gemstone um, mailed to them. And um, it's a beautiful stone. Um, however, I do want to give some shout outs. We had a contest last Friday and um, Kamoi Knight won the t-shirt. And so um, she did text me and she received it. And we're gonna be doing some more drawings um, for jewelry and that kind of thing. I wanna give a shout out to some of the young women in my uh, group. Um, we work in the community, empowering others. Um, I myself do individual intuitive readings. I don't talk about that a whole lot because I work at a uh, behavior health center and so I do a lot of um, um, groups um, with women there but I said well maybe I should just let them know and anybody that's interested um, we can set up times I do have clients you know that I do spiritual counseling with them and that kind of thing but anyway a shout out to Talana um, Tony to Chosen Tony a shout out to Jasmine Tony. A shout out to Ashley Townsend. Uh, Yos Yosera um, Bochita and um, Alana Wins, Honora uh, Rivera and her family. These are the people that stand behind Interfaith Wealth Builders. And so um, I thank God for their um, lives and their souls. And um, even my... Um, the people that I work with, you know, my sister, Nicole Harris, and my family, I just be going on saying, thank you, thank you. Um, thank you for the people that actually donate, people behind the scene that just give, because if you go to www.ifwbuilders.com, you'll see that um, we do have a homeless initiative and it supports um, children um, and families uh, that, are in um, distress, some um, are being evicted, their families, and they're on, um, you know, going through hard times. So we wanna kind of get something for the kids for the Christmas season, and we've got donations coming up. I'll take some pictures and add them to the videos. But anyway, to get to um, Mercury retrograde class, and to just remind everybody, um, that med meditation is key. Um, whatever you're experiencing right now, meditation is key. Breathing is um, a key to get you over the moment. Emotions, they only last for a minute. The thing about the emotion is to understand why it came up and what triggered it. And so, if it's something that you've been dealing with for a long time, you know, it keeps coming back. What that means is, is that it's actually telling you that it wants you to overcome it. It's actually asking for help, the emotion, if it's negative. You know, if you're sensitive, a lot of people are experiencing heightened sensitivity. And that means that you can be feeling other people. It's not really you. Um, Self-awareness and um, consciousness is um, necessary, but you get that when you meditate. The more you meditate, the more um, you become more of your authentic self, which means that you can sense, hear, and feel what's going on around you and where it's coming from. Um, 
it's not just one special person that God created um, to feel and to hear and to see. We're all intuitive beings. Um, what we have to do or need to do if we want to tap into that energy um, of all knowing and all seeing is spend time with all knowing and all seeing. And then we will begin to um, experience that authenticity within us. And so um, I'm not going to stay on late. I felt like I needed to say something because I feel like people are in touch, but they don't know that they're in touch with the higher power of God, however you reference it. Um, we're in touch because it lives within us. We could not be out of touch. A lot of people reference and say, walking beside me, um, they're with me. But the spirit realm is within because the universe and that spark of life is within us. And so I do remember um, when I got up this morning, it's like my mind was going back over things that I had experienced. I had, you know, emotionally been broken in. And um, it's like within me said, that's what it was all about. So I got an answer today. And the answer was all of the times that I had went through something that hurt me, it was for my good because I turned out to be such a, a, a greater person. It's, you know, the hurt, the pain, the deception, the betrayals have probed me to become a better person because when I found Christ, um, I wasn't letting go. It was just too good for me. And when I started seeing the changes in me, I definitely wouldn't let go. So if you chant, if you pray, um, whatever you do to keep your um, daily connection, you do that in this year season because in about six years, we're going to be amazed at what, you know, what's come out of us and what we're doing. But one of the things I want people to really understand is, is that there's no one that is more special or better than the other. We are all equally loved in God because we all are God. We have the same capabilities, each and every one of us as human beings. Therefore, there is no separation. There is no difference. And I hear, you know, the Spirit saying to talk to people about divorce. There is people that have broken up and God is bringing them back together. Um, Thus says the Lord, he said, whatever he made in heaven, um, no man can put asunder. What God made, no man can put asunder. And I believe that when, no matter what the natural aspects look like, I believe that if God said it, that's how it is. The part in um, relationships that we have to look at is if it naturally breaks down, it does not mean that it's broken in the spirit. It can mean that something is changing, but it doesn't mean that it's broken or that it's not going to be repaired. Some things we do have to release and we have to watch to see if it comes back. If it doesn't, then it never was. And so those that are going through relationship challenges, especially, um, yeah, relationship challenges, um, stay prayerful, stay faithful, find out what your lesson is spiritually and you will overcome. Any women that are out there that need a support group, um, we're there, ifwbuilders.com. Just go to ifwbuilders.com. Put that www in the front. And um, I also have a I Am a Woman of Power um, Facebook group. So you could, um, you know, uh, put my name in, Kim Warner the search engine and you'll be able to find information or even just Google it. Um, um, and you, you, you'll have support that you need spiritually and uh, mentally and physically. And, you know, for those of you who have businesses, we want to connect and partner with business owners so that we can spread the love and the love can be spread back to us and our people and our communities. And we can 
you know, build an entourage and um, just service our people. That's what we're here to do at the end of the day. And so God bless you all. And for those that are coming on to my um, Mercury and retrograde class on Thursday and tomorrow is Capricorn. You come on down so you can understand the Capricorn energy because a lot of people look at Capricorn and they um, think that there's no change. Capricorns are just solid. They're never going to change from their ambition, monetary thinking, material thinking. But listen, some people, they get that brokenness hard enough where they see the fear of the Lord and they can't do anything but change. You know, so Capricorns have hearts and they're lovable. They are rigid and they are very, um, how you would say, stubborn in their ways, but there is something that can move them. And, you know, one of the things I know that some people don't understand is, is you know, how you integrate um, the Bible with astrology. And that's something that I have um, learned. I thank um, God and the universe for it because it's definitely wisdom. And um, when we look at Capricorn, we can see that it is the Lord of the harvest because it is um, the one that builds and structures and gathers the fruit, right? Or um, whatever the prosperity is. And so in, in my classes, I do teach history on each age, such as Pisces, Aquarius, and now we're in Capricorn. Um, the history of it, um, what it um, actually is for the angel that goes along with it, which is the Capricorn is um, Azriel, um, all of that kind of information. So if you don't get in on this one, get in on um, the Sagittarius class, and it probably will be after Mercury in retrograde is passed. Um, yeah. Um, that will give everybody some downtime because we did about three classes and I have about seven to eight people that have been in those classes. And give them some time to digest and um, come on back in and do a couple of classes before the end of the year. So I thank you very much. Um, again, my background is in psychology, um, but I went to school for theology and I was a cosmetologist. I got all of the ologies. And so I just learned how to bring um, astrology, theology, psychology together to help um, people at a greater length, especially when it comes to emotions. Because um, what a lot of people don't know is when you look at the chart, you can see where there is possible um, disabilities, such as mental health issues or drug issues that could come up with a child. So reading the chart is important because you can see things um, before they happen, you know, before they become adults or a child that might be susceptible to um, drug addictions. Uh, you can see it in the charts and the behaviors. There's behaviors that are um, connected to the signs because the signs are um, in the sun sign it, it's attributed to the ego so I would be sitting here um talking all night um anyway you guys have a wonderful night um be blessed and um share and um like my videos listen I am trying to get to a thousand subscribers so please subscribe and tell your friends and family about um what we're doing okay blessings